Yes, indeed. Absolutely. We do need to celebrate and love our bodies, women, definitely. Okay. So one of the things I can definitely tell you is that a big chest for women is a big deal. All right. Not just because you can't find the right bra, but also health issues. But listen, if you find the right inner wear, trust me, a lot of the issues that you're going through will be a thing of the past. And one person who can definitely agree with that and who has decided to make it her passion is the owner of My Curves, all right? She's a beautiful woman. Her name is Wendy Waweru. Everybody, please welcome her to the stage right now. <laughs> yes, he needs to know. Yes. Cindy, yeah, yeah. hi, Wendy. Hi. How are you? Very fine. Good Thank to you. see you. One yeah. more. Have a seat, darling. Thank you. Thank you for coming and thank you for bringing this beautiful um, innerwear for us. Yes, thank I'm you. I'm trying to be politically correct, you yeah. know? I think this is one of those shows. Yes. Right, so you decided uh, a number of years ago that there, there needed to be something in the market to bridge this gap. Tell us your story from the very beginning. I think for me, um, starting out and as I was going into my adolescent years, you slowly start realizing everybody's boobs are not quite growing or rather breasts. And um, mine were really growing fast. Yeah. Yeah. And so you start getting conscious about it. You'd get weird remarks about it. And you ask your mom, and what does she do? She just tells you, just wear a bra. It will sort it out, you yeah. know? That, um, that's what our moms did then. They buy you a bra, they bring it and say, this is for you, wear it. Yeah. And you struggle. So I started wearing sweatshirts and big shirts, and then it went into jumpers. And then I realized, I'm, I'm tired, you know? Yeah. So as I got into my 20s and I became a mom, then I couldn't get a breastfeeding bra because everyone is like, I don't know, where do you get a bra from your size? You're too big. Yeah. And people assume that when you're big, you're not beautiful. I don't know why there's yeah. that remark. Crazy misconception. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I say the bigger you are, the more beautiful you are. Mm -hmm. And you just need to embrace who you are. And um, funny enough, how I got into this is as I was going through second hand, because I couldn't get bras anywhere. Okay. Yeah, so you have to go into second hand. And while I'm there, I just keep getting this same bra type. And I Googled this company and I wrote them an email and they emailed back and they were so excited. Yeah. And they're like, why don't you start? Locally or abroad? Abroad. Okay. And I was telling them, I don't know, why would I be the one to start? I'm in a good job, I'm where I am, I'm happy. And they're like, no. Yeah, you need to come up with, uh, be the solution. Okay, in your market. In your market. But looking at, of course, uh, uh, from the point where you realize, first you can't get a breastfeeding bra, and this has been your whole life, you have issues getting the right bra. Yes, yeah. So you must have realized, if there are no stores or a platform that offers this, and even if I have to go to Mtush and I still can't find it there, Yeah. this gap, why do you think that we as Kenyans, Africans, have lived with this gap for so long, where actually there was no one to cater for it? It's because it's acceptable and then we have found ways to look for solutions, you know. So you find like at the store, for example, a lady will come in wearing two bras. So what? she, ha yes. Yeah, because okay. then she's figured it out and she's like, let me come up with this. Would you call it a bra hack or a solution? <laughs> I think Kenyans are really solution oriented. Yeah. So you find she'll wear like a re her bad bra and then she'll wear another one and then she'll wear a camisole. And then now she'll wear her clothes. Oh my gosh. So we've learned how to like hide it and yeah. not talk about it. Yeah. And then for those of us who are able to travel, then you're able to, like for me, I would hear people saying, oh, Max and Spencer, I don't know, I buy from America. For if you're able to travel, fine. Yeah. You can get the bra. And those are the same bras you're getting in second hand. But not many women in this country exactly. are able to travel or bring in bras. Or when you need, yeah. as you said, you have that one bra, women, we have that one bra we love. Yes. And then it's dying on you. It's dying, it's and torn, you're traveling the wires out, the straps and then are you falling, go, <laughs> you go, but you're still with it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Then you go to Mutumba and you can't get, so you're angry at her. You're like, you, what are you doing? Right. So I just said, I have to be part of the solution and that's how I got into it. Okay. Yeah. Realizing, of course, that there was, of course, a market for this in Kenya. Exactly, yeah. And, and seeing that actually there also needs to be a lot of education that needs to come with this. Yes. From the beginning, was it a challenge? Just trying to get women to say, okay, yes, you, I, you, I'm wearing the wrong bra. Um, I think for women, we know we're wearing the wrong bra. Right. I mean, <laughs> even when she's coming, it's like, I know I'm, I have seen, I'm just doing things wrong. Yeah. Um, but one thing, trying to explain to them the science of a bra, 
how is a bra made? And how is it meant to fit? And how is it meant to feel? Is it meant to be uncomfortable? Is it meant to be comfortable? Should I wear a sports bra? Shouldn't I? You know, what type of bra is this? What do my boobs look like? You know, some people even don't even know what. what. Yeah. They won't look there. They just wear the bra and run out. Right. Yeah. My mom told me I'm a size 30E. So 10, 20 years later, you've gotten kids. You've, you've gotten bigger, smaller, whatever has happened in your life. And you're in the same bra. It's not possible. Okay. Yeah. Now let's talk about size. Um, style, yeah. shape of your body, and how all these little elements come into play when you're trying to figure out what size is for you, what shape your body is. A lot of people don't even know what shape or what size they're working with. Yeah. So how do you figure out, first of all, what your body shape it is and what bra is required for you? Um, the first thing to know, I, I keep telling people, you need to, number one, love your body yeah. and know what your proportions look like. Okay. Yeah, I mean, most of us know. I, I mean, if I asked you, you'd say, yeah, I think I'm big boobs, <laughs> a big breast, and I know that uh, probably I'm hippie. Yeah. Yeah, so it depends and, on what type of uh, bra you have. Okay. So when it comes to women, we have different body shapes. There are those who are bigger on top. There are those who are bigger at the bottom. It's a matter of learning your body and loving your body. I keep telling people, yeah. a bra is the closest thing that you wear on your skin. So a bra is the, like the foundation. Like when you're building a house, you start with the foundation and then you throw on the beautiful clothes on top. Right. So you need to look at yourself. I, and I keep telling people, do you ever look at your breasts and be able to say objectively, are my breasts uh, big? Are they small? Are they round? Are they a bit, um, as I, some people call them, a bit loose? Lopsided. Yes, one lopsided. Bigger, yeah, whatever, yeah. One thing that I keep telling people, most people get shocked. One boob is bigger than the other. It's like your feet. Right. Yeah? Yes. And they're like, how is this possible? It's because, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, you have to love yourself. Mm -hmm. And love yourself enough to be interested in knowing what works for me. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So when it comes to, say, body shape, bras are very interesting. They're like clothes. Yeah. Yeah, different bras fit different body types okay. differently. And that's why I keep saying you must come in for a bra fitting. Then we are able to try on different bras and you're able to start seeing, I love being full, fully covered. Right. I love to be not covered. I love wearing V-necks. So when you wear V-necks, especially like for me, who's busty, then when you wear a V-neck, what happens is then you can't wear a bra that's fully covered because then people can see. Right, exactly, yeah? yeah. So you need to learn what do I love to wear and then tailor your bras around that. But the rule of thumb here is have a, a bra for different occasions. Right. So you have a T-shirt bra. The T-shirt bra is the more rounded, it gives you a rounded, smooth look when you have a t-shirt or you don't want to have the seams showing. Okay. When you don't want, when you want something flowery and over the top and lacy and it has the seams, then wear something that, so that people don't see through your top. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen ladies where you're talking to her and you can see lines crossing and you're, yes. you can see the, the seam. Yes, you can see yes, the lace like this mm -hmm. and you're like, what is going on? Yeah, it <laughs> yeah, happens, yeah. yeah, but it's because you're not wearing the right outfit okay. with the right bra. True, even white bras are tricky. Yes. Or the cream bras. Yes, yeah, exactly. Depending on yeah. what you're wearing. Yeah. So yeah. you're going to take us through that. Yes. Um, but one of the things before before we take a quick break I wanted to really touch on is, thank God for Mtush. Yes. Because underwear is expensive in this country. It when you is. walk into a store, yeah. it, for a lot of people, they're like, nobody's going to see this, so why should I bother spending money, right? Yeah. And why, why should I spend 5000 10000 on this? and it's the only thing available at times. What can you say about the expense of this and, and why sometimes it's important to invest? As I said from the beginning, um, your bra is the foundation of whatever outfit you're wearing. So if you look tacky inside, then whatever you wear, it doesn't matter how much it costs. Yeah. On the outside, it shows. Yeah. So if your, boobs are, your breasts are sagging and you don't look like, um, I mean, people can tell when you're jiggling around, as it yeah. called. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you call it jiggling or moving around. Yeah. People can tell. Okay. And for bras, the thing is, once your foundation is right, the confidence you exude, because you don't have to think about, am I showing? Is the lines showing? Mm. Can people see I'm popping? Right. Yeah. You're comfortable. You're confident. 
yeah and i'll bring men into this i mean surely yeah your wife or girlfriend is in a torn bra you need to say something you need to speak up and say girl are they I, supposed to say something yes they should oh. say something really yeah they are they are the only people who see the bra you're right isn't yeah, it yeah 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 it's true yeah? yeah i agree nobody else sees it so you should look like you're on point. I mean, have Invest them coordinated if you can. Yeah. yeah? Okay. I, I always tell people if you can. If you can't, try your best. You know, make yeah. sure it's not torn. I mean, reputational risk, surely. If you fall down. I mean, our mothers used to tell us this it's all the true. time. If you fall down and somebody has to lift you and you're in a torn underwear or a brise, <laughs> you know, you have to think ahead. Right. But the most important is for you. I, t I tell people, you ladies, you're wearing the bra for yourself. Absolutely. You, need, you want to look confident you want to exude that confidence when they're coordinating or when it's lacy you feel good amazing yeah i like that you I like peace. that a lot exactly yeah exactly so you've brought a bunch of your most beautiful products here and of course some ladies as well yes and then we'll be doing some some uh sizes exactly. how to know your exact size yes, right you must know your size i have to confess i don't have a clue yeah i don't how, <laughs> looking at our audience right now how many ladies in this audience know their size one two Two, I feel so much better right now. I really, really do. I feel better. I actually do. I thought I was alone in this thing. And, and sometimes, especially if you've decided to go on a diet, lose weight, it changes. It varies. It changes. Hormonal balance, yes, if you're yeah, breastfeeding, yeah. if you're pregnant. In fact, over your lifetime, your breast size can change actually four times. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you need to actually have it checked at least once a year. Come in. We do it for free. You come in. We check. We see uh, what size you are. Have you changed? Have you not changed? And then we're able to advise. Okay. Yeah. And through your life, as you, as you're going on, different bras serve different purposes. When you're younger, you want something sexier, lacier. Yeah. Yeah. And then as you go up, you probably want more full coverage. For mothers, you want a nursing bra that fits. If you're going into a more active lifestyle, please, ladies, wear a sports bra. Right. I, I have seen people jogging and, and you want to cry. I've seen that too. Yeah. But one of the things I can say, I think sports bras are also difficult for people to gauge. Do I buy a medium, large, or small, extra large? We don't know. But you're going to teach yes, us. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll go through that. Fantastic. Sure. All yes, right, I guys, will. give this wonderful woman a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> The guys are smiling, which is a good sign, okay? This show is for everybody. It's not just for women. We take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll show you what it looks like, especially if you're heavy-chested, to wear the wrong bra. It looks hilarious, actually. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, guys. Okay, without further ado, you came with two wonderful and beautiful volunteers, right? Yes, okay. I did. Yeah. Annette and Joy, they are here and they are wrong. What they're wearing is wrong, yes? yes? Annette, yes. Joy, come out here, everybody. Welcome them, everyone. Come out here, ladies. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You are? Annette. You're Annette and Joy. Joy. Hi, ladies. Hi. Are you good? Yes. No. Uh, no, you're not good. <laughs> no, no. no. Good. Okay, <laughs> so, Wendy, I'm going to stand over here, get out of your way. Yes. They are not wearing the right bra. Exactly. Take me through it. Why, okay. is, uh, why is Annette's bra wrong? Okay, I'll start with Joy. Start with Joy, for yeah. sure, no problem. So, um, the problem with this bra, I hope most of you can see, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you've seen it with a lot of ladies. If you look at women, we have a, would I call it a female body, yeah? That hourglass, you need to have to show your waist and everything. When you look at this bra, she's drooping. Can you see that when you look at her, she looks like a block because guess what? The boobs are running very low, the breasts, yeah? You can see how low they are. Men, men, <laughs> I'm yeah. talking to you. Yeah. Yeah? Then when you look at her, it's not smooth. Can you see this area here? Yeah. She almost looks like she has four boobs. Joyce? You want to turn? Yeah. yeah. So you guys can, can really you see. Can you see? She has four boobs. No mm -hmm. one has four boobs. It's the bra that's helping her get four boobs. Yeah. <laughs> so this is not right. And if this is like, when the flesh pops out. Of exactly. The, top, right? the bra is too small. OK. And again, what's happening here, it's too big at the back. So what's happening, it's not giving her the support she needs. OK. And ideally, the way bras work, when I look at you between your shoulder and your elbow, you should your fullest part should be at the middle. Between your shoulder and your elbow. And your elbow. Oh, yeah. This part. Okay. Yeah? That's what you so should be So she should be right here. here. Yeah. But okay. are you seeing where she is? She's down here. She's by Her the fullest knee. Yeah. Mm. Like, uh, yeah. She's very sad. Yeah. 
<laughs> and right. the problem with this look, it doesn't, as I said earlier, it doesn't matter what you wear. Yeah. If you have this happening, it doesn't ha matter how expensive mm -hmm. the outfit is. Yes. It will not look nice. You will not look nice. You will not exude confidence. And most of the times you'll find ladies wear either a very big sweater or she'll put a shawl yeah. to try and hide it. But it's because you're feeling that it's not right. Yeah. For some women, they think this is normal. For them, and a bra is just you keep wear it and you go as long as they're held by something. As long as they're there, they're intact. I have a friend who actually, <laughs> y'all, my friend puts her phone Okay, her car keys, yeah, power bank. Uh, so yes. I'm just like, how? Yeah, how? <laughs> yeah, because she has space. <laughs> so it be amazing. She has space. She knows who she is. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> for, for, you couldn't be bothered, you know? Right, yeah. And I think as you get older, you're like, who cares? Exactly. Let me just go. Yeah? Ah, it's too much. It's too yeah, much. Protect this area. Exactly. Okay. Protect it. Love it. Embrace it. Learn what you need to be wearing. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. that you look good. Joy, yeah. are you feeling good? Tell us how you're no, feeling. No, no, okay. I'm not. I'm not. You're not. Yes. And you, can, you don't feel confident? No, because... They, hmm. Hold on to this. <laughs> now tell us why you're not feeling great, mommy. Um, I feel like SpongeBob. Oh. Very... Spongy, Bobby. Yeah. 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 Scary. Definition. Okay. I may be big, yeah. but I have calves. But you can't really see them because of how the bra has uh, spread my my breasts sorry. that bra's gotta go girl yes it's gotta go so you're gonna go and wear the right bra yes okay and then you're gonna come back out yes fantastic and we're gonna be left with annette yes all right hi annette hi how hi. are you i'm fine thank we you. can see yours is fully Cindy, this is wrong wendy this is very wrong yeah. I, I wish we could do it without the camisole but um, well, let me move this so that i don't want to shock really you <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah Please. i want to take the ladies through what's wrong with this bra yeah okay um, I wish you could see it without the camisole, but let's imagine she doesn't have the camisole. So all you're seeing here, this purple, it means she'd be hanging out. Flesh. The flesh would be out. Her mammary glands would be all over the place. So she'd have the same issue with Joy in that she would have four boobs. I'm sure for some other ladies you find the boob will get to the point, the breast will get to the point, they even spill over to the side. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. So that is an issue. Yeah, what it's saying is that this bra is too small. Ideally, the way a bra is meant to work, it's meant to cover you completely. Okay. So the whole breast should be encapsulated within the bra. You shouldn't be hanging out unless you're doing it on purpose. You see, there are some ladies who decide that I want a lot of cleavage, especially if you're smaller. So they'll push it out and get the cleavage happening here. But when you're bigger, it becomes a big problem because you will not be showing cleavage. You'll be showing everything else that is wrong. So you'll be showing the side boob here. You'll be showing this out here. It's called a side boob. And then if Annette can turn, yeah? Mm -hmm. When you look at the back, most ladies will... You, have you ever seen ladies look like that? Yes. Yeah? Yes. For some, it comes here. Looks like yes. it's like yeah? a slim And, and, and you're, you're wondering, why is it up here? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. It's yes. true. It looks like a slingshot. I mean, it sounds bad, but it it's looks true. Bad. Yeah. 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 So this is not right. You're not meant to wear your bra at this level. I mean, if you can do this and you take off yes, your bra easily, there's a problem. There's a problem. Yeah. It's too big. <laughs> yeah? yeah. It means I. Yeah. I can't even. I no. Okay. Another problem comes in here. You know, many women want it very loose. You know, are you seeing how I'm pulling it? I can put actually, yeah, actually, I should put in my microphones whole hand. like yes, me. Yes, yes, yeah, and your phone and yeah. all your gadgets in here. <laughs> right. Bras are meant to be firm. Yeah, so not this uncomfortable. Should, this, should, this shouldn't have any room at all here? No, it oh. should have, you should at least be able to put in two fingers. Only? Yes. Oh, right. Two to three fingers. Yeah, we Past can put that. both our hands. Yes, yeah. Are you seeing? So this is wrong. <laughs> we are sorted. Okay. <laughs> this bra is too big. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's too big. It's way too big. So what is happening? It's just, hap everything is wrong. Ideally, because but you're beautiful back here. <laughs> it's too big at the back. Yeah, and then it's too small here Okay, and the way bras work 80% of the support comes from the band So when it's too big, it doesn't hold It doesn't support you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then when it's too small then your mammary glands are all out Talk to us a little bit about the wire. A lot of people don't understand. Some, some bras don't have the underwire. Yeah. Some do. Some have that elastic. Yes. A good, um, a good way to know what bra works for you. The wires, the first thing I want to demystify is that wires are bad. 
Really? They're not bad. Okay. Yeah, most people will say, yeah, why is that really bad? You see? You're, yeah. you're like, yeah, really, they're bad. They will kill me. Yeah. They will not kill you. Okay. Yeah, the research has been done. Technology is out there. They have research. They know what metal to put in there. Okay. That is why wire bras are being made. So many people will tell you wire bras are bad. I want not to have a wire bra. I want wireless, especially the older generation will have that ah, issue. Okay. But why do wire bras work? If you're bigger, like say, for example, for me, I'm much bigger. Yeah. So wires give you definition, yeah? They give you definition and they make your, your, your breasts rounder. Right, and something yes, to sit on. Yes, and it, they lift, okay. yeah? Okay. And when you wear the right size of bra, then it doesn't hurt. So okay. a lot of people say it hurts down here, yeah. that's why I want to wear wireless. Oh, because you're wearing the wrong bra. Yeah. If the it's wire the is hurting wrong, you, yeah, it's you're the, the wrong the bra. And here's Once the, the wire is hurting, it's wrong. This is a public service announcement. Once you see the wire, throw away the bra. Yes. Some <laughs> of you are walking around with wires poking you the whole day. <laughs> Lady, you see the way they're laughing. They know themselves. Yes. All right? yeah. A lot of us, the bra is still, it's dying. It's on its last legs. The wires have come out, but you're just there. Yes, yeah. <laughs> or, or as you're driving, you <laughs> pop it out. And then you continue driving you with one it, out and one in. And one boob is yeah. it's too much. Yeah, it's All right. just, yeah. You, okay. You've got to throw it. It's dead. Okay, so yeah. she's going to go back and wear a sports bra. Exactly. Okay, I'm yeah. going to take this. I think one of the demonstrations I would like to make. Yes. You can imagine she's in this wrong bra. Mm -hmm. Annette, you can jump for us. Just, I, I just want you, just a little, don't, don't jump pour. and then you scare everyone. Yeah. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> just jump kiddo. Yeah, <laughs> so you can imagine if she's running. Yeah, I'm sure you've for seen ladies team. running or whatever and they're moving, <laughs> they're moving, yeah? And you're like, what is going on? And they're you not supposed to, to move? That is why you wear a sports bra. If you uh. know you're gonna work out, you must wear a sports so, bra. So yeah, so this yeah. does not work on a treadmill for jogging, no, for no. skipping. And especially, most women will say, let me take that bra. You know the one that died? Yeah. You take it and go to the gym with it, surely. <laughs> yeah? This is no, awesome. No, yeah. it's already dead. The elasticity is let gone. Let it go. Yeah. Let so it you're go. actually helping gravity out. You know? Okay. You're actually, you know, <laughs> what, what, you, it, you will sag eventually right. and quickly. Okay. I don't refute that eventually with time you do sag. Right. But... If you take care of your breasts, it will take a while, you okay. know? Yeah, you just, you have to take care of your breasts. Okay. Yeah. Annette, we're going to release you for now. Thank you. Okay. There's a misconception, I'm not sure. I heard this years ago, and this was said by Halle Berry, the actress. Yeah. Oprah asked her, how do you stay so perky at your age? And she said that she sleeps with her bra. Is that true? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? There's been conflicting information okay. regarding sleeping with a bra yeah i think it's uncomfortable i think so too I, I i think you need to let yourself go i mean most women by the time you're running into the house the first thing you want to unleash is that bra and throw it away at the hanging corner. on the gate yeah? you don't and even then, care uh, for, 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 some, <laughs> for some of us who yeah depending on size yeah. i say it depends on size if you sag then yeah. you, you take the dead bra and, and wear it so for reputation or risk less a neighbor comes by yes and you, you're out there true but um i don't think you should sleep in a bra okay personally yeah that's my personal preference okay. i think let your girls hang loose and rest yes. exactly just yeah. like you yes i want to call this lady up please come up here all right she is one of the only two women who said they know their bra size <laughs> come here, honey. hello Hi. How are you? I'm good. What is your name? Um, I'm Stephanie. You're Stephanie. Yeah. You are a winner. Clap for her. <laughs> <laughs> she knows her bra size. Is this something that you've known your whole life? Is this something that you just recently learned? How did you figure out your size? Yeah. Um, since I was in um, Form 1, uh -huh. my aunt told me it's not right to not know your bra size. And she took me to a shop where the lady there helped me to get my bra size. Mm -hmm. And since then, I've always known my bra size. And you look fabulous, by the way. Doesn't she? Yeah. OK. <laughs> this, this is a, a go-getter lady, yeah. OK? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to ask you, do you mind if we actually give, uh, if we let Wendy measure your size? Um, no? Uh, I don't mind. OK, yeah. fantastic. And maybe the size you have might not be the right one. Wendy, do you want to take her through? Yes, let me take okay, her through. OK, fantastic. So this is how you need to know your size, ladies. And you possibly cannot do this alone, but maybe Wendy will show us. Can we do this alone, Wendy, in the, um, in the comfort of our home? Actually, you can do it on your own. OK. And you can get your partner, okay. your boyfriend, your husband to help you out. Not the neighbor. Yeah, not the neighbor. <laughs> 
So, um, no. men, you <laughs> must pay attention because then you go home and do it. I hope you can do it today. You get a normal tape measure. You can get this in the supermarket. And what I'll do, um, I'll use the inches here to measure her. Okay. The two important measurements is around her rib cage. This is her rib cage here. Can you right. see it, Poel? Yeah. So this is a part I'm measuring in inches. What I'll remind you is different companies, and I want to emphasize this, different companies, different countries use different sizing systems. So for me, I'm using the UK sizing system because it's the one that makes most sense to most women and it's the easiest to grasp and to understand yourself. Yeah? Okay, okay. Okay, so we'll take it through. So I'll just... Ideally, you should do this with, uh, without, without a clothes. Bra. You can have a bra, okay. but not a padded bra. Okay. Yeah? So we go round. I don't know if you can see yes, this. Yes, we can see clearly. That's 30 inches. Okay. So what we are saying is her rib cage. Around here, she's 30 inches going round her rib cage. You should wear a bra that's the size of your rib cage. So when you hear people saying, oh, my bra is a 30, 32, 34... And you're wondering, what are those numbers? Those are inches. Oh. Yeah? Those are inches. So a 30-inch bra, you're saying I wear 30 inches around my rib cage here. Okay. Yeah? So if you're like a 42, your 42, rib cage is yes. around 42. Yes. So like Got for it. me, I'm a 38. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So I have, uh, when you measure, I'm 38 inches around my rib cage. Okay. So why I'm teaching you this is so that you can start seeing what works for you. So when you go in to buy a bra, you're clear how it should feel. So we've agreed through a net demonstration that it should be firm. We shouldn't stretch it. You saw how we were stretching it? Yeah. You shouldn't stretch it. You should wear the size of your rib cage. Yeah? Okay. If you have a one inch difference between your rib cage and the fuller part, yeah? That's an A cup. So take when you slowly, hear somebody- take, take us slowly on that please, okay. Wendy. Okay. So we measured her as a 30 inch around her rib cage, isn't it? Yes. Yeah? And then, there's a sizing chart here. You can see it's going down this way. So, and it's showing the inches on this side. Okay. So the fuller part of her breasts, yeah? We've measured she has a six inch difference. Yes. Six inches would put her at a 30 E, an E cup. Oh, really? So when you talk about bras, there are two measurements. There's around your rib cage and there's a fuller part. So say for example, I was an A cup. There's a one inch difference, yeah? Just using your fingers, A cup, B, C, D. You can see how it's going, but then it becomes a little bit more complicated depending on the company. And you find then as you go bigger, so the more uh, voluptuous you are, we have the DD, then we have E, F, 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 G, 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 H, all the way to K cup. If you want to be covered completely, encapsulated, you don't want anything move, moving around, then you should wear your proper bra size. And that's why you should come in for a fitting because you may look at a bra and think it's very pretty. Yeah? And you wear it. You know how we shop as women. Yeah, I think it can fit me. And then you put it over here and say, yeah, yeah, this is good. And you walk out of the store. You must fit your bra. Okay. Don't walk out of the store without fitting it. Don't walk out without understanding. Yeah, that's crucial. Okay, it's did crucial. you did you know that you are? A, she said she's a thirty E. Yes. Did you know you are thirty E? Well, I know I was. I knew, Use the microphone, baby. Well, I knew I was thirty, mm -hmm. but not thirty E to be specific. Now you do. Yeah. I you do. feel better for it? Very better. Wonderful. Thank you for volunteering, honey. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Thank All right. You. Now, before we take a break, yeah. Uh, the issue of padded. Yes versus silk those nice soft yes. smooth yeah okay yeah. you have some here yes i do maybe um th this is definitely padded this is padded yes this who, is padded who should wear i'm sorry everybody for that <laughs> all right we'll just continue it's yeah. fine it's okay yeah um this is padded yes that is a padded who bra. should wear padded who shouldn't um it's the same thing like say trousers or jeans or a short skirt who should wear a short skirt and who should wear a long skirt this bra is based on preference. Okay. Many women have the misconception that if I'm a bit big, I shouldn't wear a padded because it makes me look bigger. Right. Yeah? Yeah. And it doesn't. Yeah? Oh. Why padded comes in is because if you want to look smooth, like say I'm wearing a t-shirt, 
yeah? And I don't want you to see the lace and the seams happening. You just want to see a smooth look. Padded works very well. Okay. It gives you that smooth, sleek look. It's lovely, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So it's just learning what works for you. Wonderful. Guys, we'll talk more about innerwear, not just bras this time, but also undies. I think that's a big deal. <laughs> now you know, gentlemen. Now you know. And if you're a gentleman out there who specializes, just like Wendy, on men's innerwear, call us. We will be happy to display here. All right, we cater to everybody. Without further ado, everybody, please welcome Annette and Joy. They're back, looking good this time. Come out here, ladies. Yeah, oh wow, right? Hi. This is so, di you look like two different people. Hello. Hi. How do you feel, Annette? Held. You feel held? Yes. Joy, how are you feeling? Beautiful. Okay, Wendy, take us through what we're looking at right now. Okay, so I'll start with Joy. Um, I'm sure most of you can see. She's not yeah. down here. Clap for her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's not down here. Yeah. So you can now see her waist. Yeah. For those of you who, there's that definition of mm. her waist. Yeah. You can see how nice she looks. More confident. Yep. Isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. She looks comfortable. Yeah. You cannot see anything happening here. Yeah. There are no bumps. She's held in. She's round. She's feminine. She's striking yeah yes yeah you meet her and you will stop and look yeah the other one you dub in oh my god she didn't want to wear a scarf yeah and now <laughs> can i tell you something now also i'm able to see this dress is gorge exactly you're paying attention to actually how she yes. looks now rather yes. than what's yeah. wrong yeah exactly yeah. yeah yeah i like yeah. that okay yeah sports bras are a big deal women are yes. going to the gym they're yeah. jogging they're working out but we don't know what to wear exactly okay annette annette jump a bit I mean, Jump Annette now. That says it Yay! all. <laughs> now she can jump. This this is a proper sports bra. Yeah? Oh. And what it's doing, it's actually it's encapsulating one breast here. You can see the definition now, isn't it? Yes. And one is in here. And when you look, she's all in. Yeah? Yeah. If she jumps, nothing will move. When you Turn look around. at the back there, yeah, this is a really good sports bra because um, it has a clip. So it works in two modes. So if you're doing very high intensity workouts, you put it in this mode. And when you jump or more like run, yeah, you don't move around. If you're walking, you can just unclaps it here. Yeah. You wow. see? Wow. And then she's more comfortable and she can move around. Okay. Yeah. I forgot to show you one thing. Are you seeing where she's wearing the bra from? Here. Yeah. Women, the bra should be worn down here. It should be by your parallel. rib cage, right? Yes, yes. at your rib cage. Because okay. that's where we measured, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so if you wear it higher here, this is not your rib cage, and that's not how bras were made. They're meant to be worn at your rib cage. Yeah? Okay. So if it starts moving up, it means that bra is getting old, it's not working for you. So it's time to give it up. Yeah? It's time to get a new bra. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah? Thank you, Annette. Thank you, Joy. You guys were amazing. Thank you for being here. And thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. All right. Very quickly, we are running out of time, but I think it's so crucial. All right. Guys are sp selling spanks in Jamia Mall, Menti House, Sasa Mall. Yes. And women just don't know because it's actually almost impossible in some of these stores in Kenya for them to allow you to try them. Yeah. So a yeah. lot of us don't even know, right? Yes, yeah. Is this, this is just regular underwear or is this, this is, Um This is what we call VPL. Yeah? Okay, first let's start what from is, the beginning. Yes. What are spanks? What are VPLs? What are regular underwears, bikinis, thongs? It's Take interesting. Us. Every time I hear about shapewear, um, people talk of spanks. Spanks is a brand. Okay. Yeah? So spanks is a brand and... Um, Shapewear is actually the genre. This is what it falls under. Okay. Yeah. So most of the things that are meant to hold your stomach in or hold your hips in or just generally put you together for women. Yeah. Is shapewear. Okay. Yeah. So different, the different intensities of shapewear. So you would have um, like some that hold you really firm. We call that extra firm. And then there are those you wear every day, which are comfortable. Okay. Extra firm is for occasions. Yeah, when you want to cinch in, you want to look smooth, you want to create that really nice look and maybe you're wearing a dress that's really loose, you okay, know, or yes. really lacy and you want to have a flawless look. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Um, the comfortable, you can wear it every day. Now, what is different about shapewear? Shapewear comes in different 
types. So there's the one you wear all the way to the top. Yeah, and it's like that right one here, there, like that one. Yeah, could you get yeah. that for us, Sule? That that one over there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that that's what's that called? That's a full body. A full yeah. body. So okay. it pulls you up all the way from your stomach to your back, down all the way to your thighs. Okay. Yeah. So that covers quite a bit of what women issues are. Now, for different women, as I said, you need to know your body and you need to know what works for you. Yeah. So there are those that will hold your stomach. So you'll find it's just at the stomach. Yeah. Yeah. That's like a waist cincher. You have those that hold just your hips. Mm -hmm. They're those that pull up your bum a bit for you, just to give you a little help. Ladies, we always need a bit of help, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, exactly, yeah, we you do. Yes, you always need to look fabulous. Yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I so, agree. Yeah, so okay. they work different. Panty lines. Oh, I could ask you questions all day. Oh, yeah. Panty yeah. lines are men, such a big men are, deal. And, and men tired of seeing panty lines. But we, we know you're wearing underwear, so who? But who? your wife walked out of the house or your girlfriend and she was with you. Yes. And you didn't say panty anything. Panty lines are wrong. Panty lines If you can are see panty no, lines no. Be, uh, yeah. beyond the dress, it's wrong. Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought you'd you, say no. I mean, <laughs> you know that it looks bad. Right. Yeah. yeah? It's not a great look. I mean, you've seen ladies, as in, as she, she, when you see her, she looks fabulous. And then when she walks away, you're like, why is there a line at the back? Okay. Yeah. We have moved on from just that one type of panty. Mm -hmm. We now have the cotton ones that have no seam. Like this, this one? This one has no seam. Yeah. yeah? This is now... It has it's seamless so nowadays we have the seamless underwear that okay. has come in yeah yeah we have those at the store you can come in we'll show you what different varieties they are okay you can wear a thong yeah if you want to go you don't want anything to show at all yeah yeah okay. i mean technology has moved such that we're, all these materials are being created they just have that soft feel and the visible panty line is not there amazing yeah wendy you've got such a great wealth of knowledge give it up for this wonderful woman <laughs> y'all what we're going to do for our very lucky viewers is that we're going to connect you to Wendy and her beautiful team, all right? Yeah. They do a great job of making you feel great, be confident, and learn. You learn everything about your body and what you're working with. But one of the things I have to talk about is that you started out with an idea, and now you have a store at Two Rivers. Big deal. Yes. Amazing, yeah, right? I mean, yeah. So it's an idea. I mean, I keep telling people, it, it sounds cliche when yeah. people say your dreams are valid, but if you want something, don't listen to the naysayers, run for it. Right. Jump in. Jump in even when your gut is telling you run away. Just jump in and swim. Whatever you fear you must yeah. do is what yeah. I always you say. You just have to. And Absolutely. then you're at peace. I yes. Keep, I keep telling people if you keep standing there and wondering whether you can do this business or dream or whatever crazy idea you have out there and you never do anything about it, you'll never be at peace. Yeah. You'd rather try and fail yes, rather than, than just never stand there tried. and keep saying one day I'll do and you never do. Absolutely. Yeah, and then when you see somebody else doing it, you're angry. I agree with you completely. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So she's at Two Rivers and we're going to connect you guys to her contact information. All right. On our social media platforms. Right. But she's got something good for one lucky viewer. Yeah. Right. Yes. What are you going to give? Um, I'd love to give a bra. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. One lucky viewer gets a bra. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And all you have to do, <laughs> one. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. <laughs> Very simple, very yeah. simple. Just write to us, okay, and yeah. tell us what your bra issues are. Yeah. The most compelling, funny, hilarious story, yes. even coupled with the picture, gets to win a bra, all right? You know, there are some women, I mean, this country, there are some women uh, who don't even wear in parts yes. of our country. Yeah. The lucky yeah. ones who exactly. don't need it, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah, they just run. Our beautiful Samburu women, <laughs> yes. exactly. Yeah. All right, yeah. thank you, Wendy, so, so much. Thank you for thank having you. me. I really Absolutely. appreciate it. It is yeah. our absolute yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Sesmo, how are you feeling? Have, what have you learned today? Do you feel like you've learned a lot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So thank you, everybody, for joining us this morning. Guys, thank you so, so much for being so patient. All right. Lots to learn. And, of course, tomorrow will be another brilliant show. Remember, it's all about mind, body, and soul, and making sure you are rejuvenated this 2017.